two broke rednecks present. Great, now they're gonna try to sell us paper towels. Hey Dad, can we go thrift shopping? Would have been better if he was from the Gene Simmons College. In the afternoons, the store across the street from school does a rushing business. But this isn't a thrift shop! those deluxe concoctions. Meet Jack Firth. And look at that! It's a peach super delight! Uh, I would afford to be a spring. camera rail. Wish my dad would get me one like that. Well, my dad didn't buy the camera. I bought it myself. You did? Well, how did you do that? Oh, I pop some tags. Any more than I do. No, I just saved up for the camera. Saved up? How can you save up? There's always something you have to buy. I got Pete Super Delight, huh? huh? Well, I just worked out a budget that allowed for savings. A budget? Oh no, I tried a budget once. Didn't work. Well, Mostly because hookers wouldn't give me a discount. Didn't work either. Then Dad showed me a way that really can work. How? How do you work your budget? Oh, no. It wouldn't work for me anyway. Oh, it might, Jack. See? This is my camera graph. That's the way I kept track of my progress in saving for the camera. Here's well, the point where I asked Grandma for the money. Along this side over here, I have the savings marked off. And the weeks are marked along the bottom. I aimed at this dotted line to save $2 a week for 20 weeks. And then I'd have my camera. I almost made it, too, but then a couple of times I slipped and didn't save my two dollars that week. But I finally made it, and now oh, it looks like a good idea. What's this one here? Well, that's for the tripod I want. Looks more like something grab. out of the Blair well, Witch. Now that I've done it once. Yes, Ralph has a budget and a method of saving that shows results. If Jack were as determined to get a camera, if all of us were as determined to save for things we want, perhaps we could budget successfully and get some of them. What about it? Is it easy to make a budget work? Not if you're in Congress! That to himself. And, if his taste is always as rich as it is this afternoon, it may not be easy. How do you make a budget? Well, when a mommy a budget loves enough. a daddy budget, a they have ago, little Jack budgets. Saw an example of a budget. The budget his family uses. Out of its total weekly income, Jack's family allows so much for food, household, clothing, each part of their regular expenses is allowed for in the budget. No wonder and he can't afford anything. He's always eating! So as to follow the budget as closely as possible. Yes, even Jack's allowance for his work around the house is part of the family budget. And there's a provision for savings, even with all those other expenses. So the family has a budget which allows for savings. Are budgets just for parents? Can Jack do any saving out of his income? No, because well, he blows see. it all on food. Let's take a look at it. There's that work at home allowance of $2 a week. And Jack earns $6 a week working part time in the library. Now combine these two, and we have Jack's total income, $8 a week, for Jack's expenses and what he can save. No wonder Jack can't afford nice things. Regular, predictable expenses like lunch money, car fare, and then the expenses that aren't quite so easy to predict. Personal expenses, after school snacks. Uh -huh. Now let's try to hold that down to 50 cents and save more. Then school supplies. And entertainment, movies and dates. There. Does that handle Jack's expenses? Look, there's three dollars left for savings. Oh Lord, I've been saved! Jack expected. What did he do with all that money before? He blew it at the track. There's one type of thing that ate up his cash. If he'd do without extravagances, he could save every week. But he'll have to watch things, keep records of expenditures. He'd better write down a list of expenses to watch. Too many movies. Too much candy. Too much online porn. 
And maybe Jack can try Ralph's idea of a graph. I drew boobies. When you save for a specific goal or purpose, it's easier to stick to the budget if you have a visual reminder. Like your wife in your face for spending money. For 14 weeks will do the trick. Jack got underway in fine style. The fourth week, this caught Jack's eye. One dollar, hmm? That'll knock a hole in the budget. Maybe not save so much this week. No. Want that camera. Budgets ought to allow for this sort of expense. But the budget could stop, oh, don't. Budget does allow for it. Entertainment, that's right. That's simple. Just don't go to any movies this week. But that show at the Strand. Wanted to see that. And it won't be on next week. Can't go to both that and the class mixer. Have to choose. More fun at the mixer. That's what it'll be. Well, you can't have everything you want, and Jack wants a camera. Uh, peach soup? No, a Coke, please. Make it two. Right. Well, you must be on a budget. How no, I'm just know? freaking poor. Well, pretty well, I guess, but it's hard sometimes. Oh, boy, I sure would like a peach soup or delight right now. Well, Jack, you can't stick to your budget all of the time. No, Jack doesn't have to follow his budget. But he has made his own rules to save for a camera. As long as he follows those rules and chooses to save, he'll find that the pennies certainly add up at the end of the week. And that cameras are not cheap. But not all choices are so easily made. That'll be some football game. And Jack wants to go. Who wouldn't? Uh, my wife. Well, where can this fit into the budget? Perhaps the money for entertainment and... No, he's already used that for Dad's birthday next week. It's either no savings this week or no game. So, to go to the game and not save anything this week means setting his camera back one week. Jack decides the game is worth postponing the camera for one week. Sadly, he bought a counterfeit ticket from the sleazy guy at the drugstore. In his little book. But that pen, the one he's had so long, has to break now. Have to buy a new one. See, this budget business is no good. Jack doesn't see how anybody makes it work. But by the time he gets home, Jack has thought it out. And he knows that when you want something hard enough, you can find ways to save for it. One way to keep the budget going is to make things do. Jack knows how to fix that leaky pen with a little cement. Well, that pen is sleeping with the fishes. Hot glue sniffing action. Not as good as new, but it'll hold for a while. So Jack goes on trying to stick to his revised schedule. But a few weeks later, his repair job gives out. He just has to buy a new pen. This one, which fits within his 50 cent school supplies budget, is not a good buy at any price. But to pay for this one, he'd have to take some out of his savings. He keeps writing his name to remember who he is. He knows, however, that buying cheap, unsatisfactory products is never thrifty. So, even though this pen will make him draw money from his savings account, it is a better buy and a necessity. And yet again, he got fooled into buying a counterfeit product by the sleazy drugstore guy. But Jack isn't going to let that setback stop him. He still wants that camera. By saying no to extravagance. And wanking it more than Why hiring hookers. Of entertainment that don't cost money. By fixing things and making them last, Jack keeps going toward that goal. Every week seems a little easier until finally Jack makes it. Right on schedule. Isn't that a honey? It now he can really take upskirt photos! Time. 
As Jack gets a better idea of what he can do, he reorganizes his figures to save better and spend better. He's making new plans. How about you? How will you do it? He's saving up to buy Jesus. Well, this sucked. Never seen a thrift shop in it. Dear Broke Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better. 